As a new mom, I'm gaga over gadgets that will help make parenting much easier. And today, the baby product market is full of high-tech options and some high-tech issues if you don't protect yourself. Jessica Naziri here. So here's the thing. Baby monitors are vulnerable to hackers. As parents, we invest in tech we think will protect our families, but the risk of hacking and security vulnerabilities actually goes up. Scary, right? The problem is that many people don't think of these innocent baby devices and gadgets as working just the same way as a computer with hacking and security risks, but that's just not the case. So what kind of data can hackers get from these devices? A hacker can get full access to all of the same controls that you do when logged in remotely. This means the talkback feature, the ability to pan, zoom, and look at exactly what you're looking at. But don't worry, I have tips on how to secure new baby tech. Here's how to keep your devices secure. Secure your monitor. Before you buy a monitor, do the research. Know what features make certain devices more secure and know which companies are reputable. Be aware of the ins and outs of your monitor so that you can be quick to respond if you're hacked, but hopefully not. The main thing I want everyone looking for is whether or not the manufacturer offers an encrypted connection. Update software regularly. How often do you see notifications for updates on your computer or your smartphone? And how often do you actually update? That's what I thought. Hackers are smart and quick. As soon as a new software is available for a device, they are at it and working to try to pull it apart and to get into it. All of those updates that you see pop up can help slow them down, so keeping your device safe with the latest protection and software is always a good idea. Change the default name and password. The first step to improving the security of your wireless local area network is to change the preset service set identifier, or SSID. IoT devices have preset default usernames and passwords, and because all of them are the same for everyone, you should choose a unique password that's long and complex, and we're talking about you. No password 1234, make sure you change that. If your home is Wi-Fi enabled and IoT enabled, you can be the cybersecurity expert in your house. Let us know what you're doing to help protect you and your family from an invasive attack in the comment section below.